can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time and welcome back to Cage Land. Happy Vlogmas Day, whatever day today is. So today, I hope you are having a great and fabulous day. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't help it. I know I look like all of yesterday, but it doesn't even matter, okay, okay. Today, it's not a whole lot going on. I just picked Noah up from school, and y'all, I legit had like a two hour meeting at the school. I'm doing some stuff at the school that needs to be approved by some some state people, some governors. Uh, your girl got some stuff going on, okay? And I don't wanna bore y'all with a whole nother cleaning video of the same kitchen that I've been cleaning up, okay? So I decided that today I'm gonna show you the table. I'm gonna get Noah started on her homework and then I'm gonna make them some dinner. Y'all, I promise next week we're gonna, we're gonna do some fun stuff. But right now, <laughs> right now it is just like the grind of things. Me trying to get back into, the editing is what's really getting me um, because it takes me so long to edit. I'm a borderline perfectionist so I like things to be, okay, there's my phone. Hold on, y'all got some good news today. I have to tell her this. I'll be right back. Hey, girl, guess what? Do many funny things. For example, when they get wet, they like to. I get nervous and my stomach get hurt. Why? Because I just don't want to take that test. That's why you're messing up on the test because you get so nervous. What makes you nervous about the test? Um, it make, something makes me nervous because I think I'm going to fail the test. But you've done that. You yes. you fell in the test. Mama, Do you understand that? You making all A's until it comes to your test and then you fail the test in a big way. So guess what that is? Fear is stopping you from being great. Do you know what that means? That means you being scared is bigger than the knowledge you already have, right? Do you know what's on the test? So the fact that you don't know makes you scared, right? All right. So before you take the test, I mean, you get all inside, you get scared. Oh, oh my God, I got a test. Oh my God, I got a test. Yeah, I don't want to take a test, like. right? Yeah, that's what I feel Okay, like. but the fear of you taking the test is stopping you from being great at taking the test. Do you think you could be great at taking the test? You think you could be great? Do you know all the answers? I know you know all the answers. I'm going to be great. Why? Uh, because I, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a lot of A's. Okay, but why are you gonna get a lot of A's? Are you gonna be brave? Yes. Are you gonna be afraid of the test? No. Why? When I get afraid of the test, then I think that when I walk inside the test and we're about to start it, then I get like, oh my god, if we're gonna do a test, I'm talking to myself in my brain. Mm-hmm. I'm here trying to help Noah with her homework, and Jacob is over there on FaceTime with my sister. They're so loud. Jacob, tell her we talking about some important things. Um, this thing like... <laughs> Let's see if you can say it, go ahead. Jacob. Go ahead and put the kids to bed, and then I'm gonna show you guys the table. I love this table, y'all. Uh, I, I have to say, this is probably the best table setting that I've had. And y'all, tomorrow, I'm, I think I'm gonna show y'all the the hot chocolate bar tomorrow. I'm so proud of this hot chocolate bar. Just, just that's why I keep talking about it. But when y'all see it, y'all gonna be like, "Girl, you was right. You did that." <laughs> See, you gotta think things. You know, you you, you gotta think you great. Cause if you don't think you great. Ain't nobody gonna believe in you the way you believe in you. You know what I mean? So you better start pumping yourself up. You better start promoting yourself to you, 
to yourself. You got to start telling yourself you great. Girl, pat yourself on the back. Same lesson we had for Noah today is the same lesson I'm giving y'all. And you guys have to do. If you if you my age, then you have to. And you go to some schools and you have to do a test tomorrow. You better be great. You better get all A's, and I'm better get all A's. <laughs> Yeah, you better get all A's. Okay, guys, so here is the table. I probably should show you guys this in the daytime so you can see it a little bit better. But um, I'm just going to give you a tour and let you know how I did everything. So first I started over here with this little chandelier here. I just put some garland up there. And these were just red and gold ornaments I had. And um, just some flowers, you know, just something to make that area a bit more festive since there's a lot on the table the chairs came from a furniture buyer i love the studs on the back of these um i don't like the fact that i got a bright color because with kids we already know it's not gonna stay like this however um because of the size i have been able to, i was able to find covers for these already so you know whenever they get damaged or whatever they have like velvet and all kinds of different things that you can put over these so i'm not really worried about that placemat that i picked up at burlington and i showed these in a haul that i had um i think it was last month sometime i did a a home decor haul and i found these and i just fell in love with them the little gold sparkles and the tassels in them I really thought that they were super, super cute. Um, the gold charger came from at home. The white plate came from, they either came from Target or they came from the Dollar Tree or Ikea. <sighs> I really don't know, but they're all inexpensive. Any of the places that I name, I have white plates from all of those places. I, oh, I, I know what it is. The thin ones came from Ikea and the thick ones over there came from the Dollar Tree. I really like the thin ones because they just look more elegant so i picked up these little small plates from walmart in july i was going to use them for a spring table however since my walls are blue i wanted to incorporate blue and in everything this season i decided to add them to the table just to see how they would look i did try to put a red tablecloth on here and you know like if you guys want more ideas i could switch this out and we can kind of play with it just to see you know what would go best to give you guys some better ideas so if you want to do something like that if you want me to do something like that let me no because I would definitely be happy to do that I'm excited about these because I love the fact that I can add different textures and print like this is more like a canvas cloth and you know I just I just love the way this looks here is a, just a piece of fabric that I had cut at Walmart I just went and got um, a yard of fabric and I cut them in fours and um, I folded it I should have pressed it, but I didn't. Um, if I have people over, then I'll take these and iron them and press them, make them look really nice. And so this came from my mom. Um, they, She gave them me a set and my sister a set a few years ago. Um, Y'all, she had like a whole treasure chest of gold. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I gotta have that. And she gave it to me. Okay, so um, that's that. So that's like something I would, I don't even allow them to eat on, on the gold, y'all. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> okay, so these little um, dessert cups here came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I had these now for about two years. I just picked them up and I still need to get one more because for some reason one went missing, but it's okay. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree. Um, they still have these now. Um, they just didn't have the green ones. They, I mean the red one, they have like green one. All right, and then this little thing here is some sort of a gold nugget, y'all. Now, <laughs> this is gonna be a funny story. So I was in... I think it's called the flea market uh, yeah we, i was in the flea market my husband was in there buying something and i was just kind of browsing around and i saw this guy throw these away in the trash they went and it was like close to christmas time and he put them in the garbage and i was like hold on like it was no like garbage garbage out there it was like a clothing store so he just like tossed them into the trash y'all i went <laughs> I picked them all up and I took them home so I have this size and then I have some like half this size like a little bit smaller 
and I always use them on my tables for like coasters <laughs> and I only bring them out really during the holiday but I just love these I love the way they look I think there's some kind of like fake symbol I don't really know what symbol it is but anyway they have like little feet on them too so they stand up I was like winning how could you turn 30s away but when you're creative anyway my camera just did some weird stuff <clears throat> but like I was saying when you're creative you find ways to you know utilize things that may not that other people may not think had a real purpose so yeah I love them on the table so I just sit them there this glass came from the Dollar Tree um yeah and with the same little little thing that I stole from the trash can <laughs> the flowers came from Walmart these are the same little spiky swirly things that I picked up from Hobby Lobby same things that are on the tree and I put them here um, just to give it like you know just the centerpiece of Christmas this vase came from at home it's a blue vase that I love these are the same bristles that I went outside to cut um, and brought them in and put them on the table I know I know but I made sure there was no bugs in them before I put them there okay um, so yeah, I cut these from the tree outside and if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me do that the other day It was so much fun, but it was so scary because like birds was like flying out over my head <laughs> But it, these are the same things that are on the mantle as well So um, these little this little reindeer and that one came from the Dollar Tree and then um, That came from I want to say I got that from Walmart last year But I do know that the Dollar Tree sells them as well all right, so then the table runner came from the Dollar Tree or Walmart, one of them. And this satin piece here, because they're I think that tables are great when you can layer them. That blue satin piece, y'all, it feels so good, but it just gives the table like a rich look. It gives the table like a real elegant look. I just got a piece of like half of a yard cut. I don't even think it was half of a yard, but I got like um, fabric cut at Walmart and I just layered it in between that just so it will be just perfect. The candle holders came from at home. Candles I picked up from like Walmart or something. You can get candles from anywhere. Oh, and uh, if you go all the way around, holders came from my sister-in-law's wedding. <laughs> when After they had the wedding, they were like, do you want some of this stuff? And I was like, yeah! <laughs> so yeah they um gave me uh, like candles and like glasses and everything so y'all know i will find you so and i can promise santa's coming to visit no he wouldn't miss this in christmas times all right so i'll give you guys like a better view of the table tomorrow because I do know that it's kind of hard to get a really good view at nighttime. All of those windows open. So tomorrow I'll give you a better tour of the table. I think that is it for today. Babe just went to get the kids their little nighttime routine and put them up, put them into bed. Noah has a test tomorrow. So I'm just trying to encourage her to get past it. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to find ways of encouraging her to think like she's already got it you know motivate that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to motivate her so all right guys i think that is it i can show you guys the mantle but i think i need to plug it up in order for you to really see it so um i'll show you guys that part tomorrow i hope you guys had a great and a fabulous day thank you so much for hanging out with us i really appreciate it i'm sorry if i am boring you i know this was not a lot today but i promise <laughs> yeah it will because there'll be more to do right now i'm really just trying to get my house back in order it is so bad you guys got the dining room tour today you got the foyer yesterday so today tomorrow i'll give you guys the living room once i clean it all up and then we'll maybe decorate the kitchen together because that's the last thing i haven't done so all right that is it babe just walked in and i haven't really talked to him a lot today so i'm gonna do that Love you guys. Thank you so much for. <laughs> Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.